Welcome to the late night hours of Gotham City. Well, technically, Brooklyn, New York. It's like living in a real life comic book. I mean, wouldn't those characters live here? I mean, imagine if New York had its very own Batman. What type of crime would he fight? And would he let me take his pictures? You don't have to jump these days, sir. Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so it's a 13 minute walk from here. You could probably stand right here, homie. Yeah, so like stand right here and then I'll take an upward shot with that building in the right background. Sweet. You, who I am you? Lord Daystar. Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but I live in Dallas now. Currently Gotham, Dallas to me. Gotham, Dallas? Yeah. So what is it like always coming back home, you know, from Dallas? Well, I like the smell of random shit. <laughs> uh, I, it feels great to be home. Uh, I like, I always like seeing uh, diversity in the city yeah. where I'm from. Like, yeah. I might be in Chinatown with all the Asians. I might be in Little Italy with all the Italians. I might be in Flushing, New York with all the Jamaicans, etc. It don't yeah. it don't matter to me or Wall Street. Yeah. With all my fellow Caucasians. You ever think about changing careers from being a musician to maybe doing some you know Wall Street stuff like a Wolf of Wall Street, but the Batman of Wall Street? Maybe maybe one day my path might go on to there, but. Like the world has always said, Julius Caesar never wanted to be into politics. He got help from Marcus Crassus. He always just wanted to be a general and be a dictator. Destiny followed us all. Do you smoke weed? Are you for weed or against weed? What do you? I only smoke weed when it's necessary. Yeah. Probably on a date or if I'm bored in another state. I know a lot of people do it. They can't even eat without smoking. They can't even drink without smoking. They can't even sleep without smoking. What? I, I personally don't understand that, but I get it. It's their addiction. Now for those of you who don't know, Daystar, he dresses up like Batman on, on a regular. And he's what you would call a modern day philosopher. All I know is pain. <laughs> tell me about that. What you mean about pain? <laughs> tell, me what, tell me what you mean. Uh, well, I mean, Nostradamus always said pain is in <laughs> inevitable. You so, know? are you into philosophy? I'm you, into history. You're into history? Yeah. All right. Now, he's mentioned Julius Caesar, Marcus Crassus, and Nostradamus, three historical figures. He's thrown the gauntlet at my feet. I've got to do my homework. I have no idea about any of this stuff. When he would go to sleep, he would have visions of hell. He's the reason why we have this depiction of hell being fiery and seeing demons. Yeah. No Sodomus is the reason for that. Roman emperors, of course they had a wife, but they always had a man that would have sex with. They did? Yeah. Oh yeah. So they had them. It was a normal thing. Yeah. You couldn't marry them. Only one person did that and that was the transgender uh, Ele Ele uh, Elegalabulus or whatever. Elegabulus was notoriously known for being a sexual freak. I mean, just sticking it in everyone, anywhere, everywhere, anytime. He was the first <laughs> transgender emperor of Rome. Yeah, yeah. He would make all the women go to the arena and die by lions, and he would watch it while jerking off. Yeah. Uh, everybody was so surprised about Julius Caesar because he would like to be fucked in the ass. Julius Caesar? Yeah, which was surprising because how dominant of a man he was. So, I, I just think it's fascinating with the history. I mean, Nordic history, Roman history, Greece history. Yeah, it sounds like history has a lot of jerking off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. 
As we make our way over to the battery, I get a little bit more of an education on the Roman Empire and Daystar opens up a little about his own personal love life. So this, so this lady that you dated from Australia, 65, yeah. how you, how you meet her? We were doing a photo shoot in downtown Dallas. Yeah. She, she was rolling, she was rolling oh, through nah, her. Oh, no, no, she, uh, she knew better. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, she took care of her. Tell so. me, tell me how that conversation goes. Like, hey, what's up, Daystar? Are you Daystar? No, it what? was like, hey, how y'all doing, man? You look nice. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, can we take a picture together? Yeah. Ooh, Took that picture. Damn. And I said, you got, you got Instagram or friends? I was like, no, I don't want to give it up. And she was like, yeah. She's like, she's like, Instagram? Whoa, what's that? I'm on Facebook. Like she does boxing. <laughs> oh, she's a boxer? She's a boxer. Oh, shit. Yeah. 65 and a boxer? Yeah. Damn. She fit? Yeah. She told me a lot of stuff, actually, when we went on a date. Well, she's I, from Australia. She got she to gotta be fit. All those... Can, have you seen the kangaroos down there? <laughs> Bro, they look swole as hell. Where'd you guys go? Or where'd you take her? Asian restaurant. Yeah? Sushi yeah. or ramen? Uh, What's that thing? Pho? Pho? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pho? Yeah. Pho? Pho, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spent too much that I wanted to, though. She walked me into that. But I was like, God damn, 80 bucks, man. $80 for this date? Yeah. Damn. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you lead. How do you know which way we go? Come on, see if you could, if you could figure this out. Which way do we go? <laughs> no, I just wanted to make, you know, I just wanted you to, to, to problem solve. I was like, I know you can do it. You get the special line. You don't want a picture here? Of us? Yeah. Not really. Oh, I don't. Really? I don't. Oh, okay. Oh. I, have you seen my portfolio? It's filled with pictures of Erica. I'm tired of. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a picture. All right. Like, you gonna do it the New Yorker way? Like behind the bushes over there? Or no, there's a no, cop over there. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm gonna see if there's something in there. All right. We'll wait for you by the ferry. All right. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. All right. <laughs> now, watch out for the birds. Let me get close. You can swim, right? Just about. <laughs> Just about. I've seen a lot of movies. What'd you say? She wants to know if this is going to the Statue of yes. Liberty. Okay, yeah. <laughs> There's this little hole right here. Porthole or whatever it's called. I might get a see if I can get a photo of the Statue of Liberty. You like wrestling? Not anymore. But you did. I did. Yeah. Who was your favorite wrestler back in the day? Which uh, era? 90s, 80s? 80s, 90s. Okay, uh, 90s was probably um, New Jack. New Jack? ECW New Jack. Okay, I don't know who that is. He's um, the second person. Uh, he was in ECW. Yeah. The, the real ECW. The ECW oh, is, is, is where Extreme. everybody from the WWF left to go to ECW, right? No, they went to WCW. Oh, okay. With uh, NWA. NWA. And the uh, NWA? Yeah. You mean like Easy e and Dr. Dre? Uh, and all no. <laughs> New World. NWO. New World. Oh. Old. My bad. <laughs> Put your hand out like, if you put your hand out like this, they'll land on it and they'll be your friend. Like Captain Morgan? No, for real. Like if you do this, they'll land and they'll they'll talk to you. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> like
Like what? Like, like, like what? Or they'll take a shit on you. Anyway, there's there's a Statue of Liberty, bro. That's what you wanted to see, man. You, it's been forever since you've seen it. It's been a long time. Most of the passengers aren't New York locals. They're tourists from different parts of the world. And with a sense of intrigue, they're waiting to see the Statue of Liberty for the very first time. Está preguntando si le puedo tomar una foto. Ah, yo hablo en español. Oh, sí. Oh, sí, sí, yeah, oh. Yo tengo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Una foto. There we go. Gracias. All right. What do you think about Liberty Island so far? Like, what are, you, are you excited to be here? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a gift from France. Yeah. Isn't the, the twin sister in France right now? I think so. subway ride all the way up to a security check then on a ferry boat and there she is the Statue of Liberty standing shoulder to shoulder with the tourist some of the locals I mean that's what all of this trouble is about some photos Now to some people, they might see Daystar as a guy who dresses up like Batman and walks around the city, but he's actually way more than that. He brings joy to others, inspiration, and to that, I'd say he's a hero. All three of you? Yeah. Huh? How come? I'm a photographer. That's what I do. Not here, you don't. You can. This is public place. I can. I can take a shot. Yeah, person doesn't matter, you're in public. But you know, it's cool. Can I take a picture of you, Daystar? Yeah. Are we in public? Yeah. Can I take a picture of you? Are you cool with it? <laughs> I didn't even know but, that was you having that conversation. Because I always see that on TikTok like someone's like, yeah, hey, you can't we're in public, it's public property. And then public. they call the cops and the cops like, hey, I mean, yeah. doing what he needs to do. A Karen. Uh, look at that. I'm ready, uh, all right, cool. How do you want to do this? Uh, just right here. Right here in front of all these people? Oh, yeah. Right. Watch my back, E. I like Sweet. Oh, it's coming towards me. Okay, look to the left, bird. Okay, to the to the left. Okay, keep going. Now walk. Good.
Maybe it's true what they say about not all heroes wearing capes. No secret identities, no phone booths, no superpowers, no dark night, just Takante Tobias Williams. Day Star. Daystar may not be the real Batman, but he is a symbol. A symbol we should all strive to be. 